everyone, and welcome back to Nightmares from the Deep, The Cursed Heart. In this video, we are going to go through the cemetery. This looks dangerous. What a stroke of luck. I could have been the one to receive shock treatment. So this is an electrified fence, and our hero is going to do something... Well, kind of stupid. She's going to use this metal hook on the electrified fence. Why is she not dead right now? You think she would be electrocuted or something? Anyway, screwdriver goes over here for a puzzle. We want to overload the circuit box by turning on all of the lights. That turns on some of the lights. And there we go. So, remember our I buddy- I managed to overload the grid. Yeah! 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 Alright! We're awesome! So, remember our buddy, Fishman. Fishman is going to appear. Just out of nowhere, he's just gonna pop up. I knew you'd manage your way through the labyrinth. This here is the shipwreck cemetery. Yeah, thanks for not helping me. You'll have that to make puzzle. your way through this horrifying graveyard of Murray's dirty deeds over the centuries. The prison where Calliope is being held is in the base of the lighthouse. But our work's not done once you save her. We need to open the cursed chest in which Murray hid the source of her power over the Kraken. But I don't know where the chest is. Uh, I already found it. I don't see. You found it? That's amazing! I'll secure the chest and bring it here, before Murray finds out. One more thing. I heard some Praetorians talking about vengeful ghosts lurking around the hulls. Be careful. We'll see each other soon. But Fishman, I didn't tell you where the chest was. Fishman! Oh dear. Wait, angry ghosts? You'll pay for what you did to us, Murray! Oh no! Robert Louis Stevenson hates me! Oh, And this is a rope. This is a cork, and this is a pipe. A corkscrew, sorry. We want the corkscrew. Here we want to turn on the electric machine. We'll use this starter cord because it works. But we need to fill it with fuel. So go right over here. Cork screw. Then the fuel can. Then the tube. Beautiful. One, two, three. Ah, great. Now I can see. I can see things like brass seahorse. Number seven. Very nice. This is a this is a puzzle. We'll solve that later. Oh, a book. Okay. I think I need to look up here to start a hidden objects challenge. So with this challenge, we want to find clothing. Clothing which we will tie together in order to form a rope. I like this challenge. I, I solve it. Yeah, I can solve it quickly. Now there's Robert Louis Stevenson again. Murray, you've sentenced us to death at the hands of your Praetorians. Ooh, working on his Scottish accent. Very nice, Mr. Stevenson. You should write a book called Kidnapped about a Scottish person. Just some friendly advice. Here I have a harpoon. Hey, that will protect me, right? Oh, we need the dial, though. This is this is going to be a tricky puzzle. And now we are going to contact the ship. Remember this? Murray is going to use the Kraken to destroy it, so we are going to save it by contacting it. This is kind of a difficult puzzle. Basically, what you want to do is figure out where everything goes. So, for example, 
these two things form the yellow picture, and now the yellow picture looks all nice. That's fantastic. So the blue picture is probably these two? No. Um, that one. Perfect. Red is going to be the back of the seashell, so maybe these two? Yes. And green is going to be the claw, so it's probably this, this, and that. Okay, let's contact the endangered- Mayday! This is the captain of the Albatross! Mayday! The tides carried us near some forsaken island of the Caribbean Sea. You... do you hear me? We've established a connection. At last, call the Coast Guard. We need help. Our hull is badly damaged, and it looks like something has broken our propeller. Some passengers claim to see something unusually large beneath the surface. Everyone is scared. Without the propeller, we're stuck here, and we don't know what's going on. We have wounded on board. Signal for help. Mayday. Oh my. The Kraken has already stopped the ship. It won't be long before Murray will try to attack and rob the ship. I have to hurry. Okay, I don't want to criticize the voice actor here. He does a good job, but does he have to make every single voice sound creepy and evil? Because that's what he does. Every voice is basically creepy and evil. You think, you think he would sound like a, a poor, desperate sailor. Instead, he's the creepy, evil captain. And here is a puzzle. What we want to do is move all of the pieces around in order to form the picture of this giant sea monster attacking a poor, innocent ship. I think it looks like this. Now we have two golden fish tokens. Great. So we are, uh... Well, we're not going to the bridge. We're going to skip over here to the secret chamber and learn more about Mayor Murray from another character with an extremely gravelly voice. Seriously, the characters in this game need throat lozenges. The Siren was horrified when she heard about Murray's plans. Although she tried to reason with him, the Mayor was adamant. Calliope refused to cooperate with the Mayor, but was violently forced into submission in a spectacular show of power that left her exhausted for centuries. The Siren created the figurine of the Golden Octopus, which allowed a person to command the mythical monster, the Kraken. So Murray waved his sword once, and that's all it took to convince Calliope? Wow. Mayor Murray seized the Golden Octopus and began to abuse its power. At his whim, the Colossal Kraken was invoked by the sounding of the gong and would attack ships passing near Kingsmouth. Damaged ships were pulled into the bay where they were robbed and the fate of their sailors was sealed. Greedy fishermen, led by the mayor, became pirates once again. Calliope cried over the horrors in which she took part. Well, the gong does summon the kraken, but if the gong summons the kraken, then why do we need the golden octopus? I don't know. In any case, use the diamond here to open the doorway to the next area. <laughs>